I'm going to let you have the floor. Uh, Jake Rogers, good start to his spring training, probably the story of spring training so far. What are you thinking there? Well, it's really, again, it's, it's a stock answer. We always say it. we can't put everything into spring training, okay? Everybody knows that, so let's skip that part. It's really nice to see him come back and show some power right off the bat uh, when he hasn't taken a real at bat since, uh, you know, late in 2021. Missing all of 2022, coming back cold. Um, this is really, really fun to see uh, him flex some power. He is really going to be important. If the, if the rules changes have the effect on the game that a lot of people seem to think is going to happen, having a catcher like him who has the ability to shut down some running game, uh, he just has to – he doesn't even have to hit for much average or on base – if he can show some power, knock 14 to 16 homers, uh, but be a weapon about throwing guys out, uh, that, that's a handy guy to have. And it, it's impressive to see the comeback he's made so far. Yeah, and Cameron, we were just talking about Jake Rogers. I know you've been posting some great stuff on Twitter. Kind of what have you seen from uh, from him this spring, and do you have any thoughts on, on what we could see from him going into this season? I mean – I've I've loved everything I've seen. It seems like he hasn't missed a beat since coming back. It's I mean, I'll, I'm okay with the swing and miss. Uh, he had an awful swing and miss. I think today's game, um, mm -hmm. and I'm fine with the strikeout rate if he's going to have a close to 500 slugging percentage. Um, I'm kind of disappointed that Donnie Sands hasn't been uh, as competitive in this uh, in this catching situation. Um, but if Jake Rogers is hitting like he was before he had Tommy John, uh, that gives a lot of room for Eric Haas to move around, and which I also like. Uh, yeah, that's the one thing I wanted to touch on is Jake Rogers in 2021. He had a good offensive season, only 113 at bats, though, but had an OPS over 800, and he was showing some signs of life offensively before he went down with injury. And yeah, this is just going to add to their depth. I, I agree with you on Donnie Sands. He was a guy I have, you know, expectations for this season. Obviously, we know he's a guy that can draw some walks. So I'm hoping he can kind of pick it up as, as we move towards the season. But yeah, Jake Rogers, uh, three home runs and I believe just 10 at bats so far. And the thing that's really intriguing to me is he went opposite field, I believe, for his first one. I know he went to center for one of them as well. So he he's really looking strong and – I got to ask you guys this question. Do you honestly believe that he can be, you know, an average to above average hitter? Or do you think we're going to look back on this a couple months in the season and be like, oh, he was just the guy that had, had the hot spring training? Or do you think this is actually sustainable? Well, in 2021, you mm -hmm. just mentioned it was 113 at bats. I don't know how many plate appearances it was. It must have been like 120, right? He was just getting to that point where you start to shrug off small sample, right? It's not a huge sample, but it was beyond, you know, not with over 100 plate appearances, and he was looking good. I mean, he was looking legitimately good for uh, a short period of time. So we, we, we saw the inklings. Uh, then, unfortunately, the injury was a serious one, and, uh, you know, we didn't know what we're going to see this spring. But th these first reports are, are really nice. Time that Jake Rogers and Eric Haas were really heating up in June and the start of July and 21. That's when the Tigers were playing like real baseball, like yeah. exciting. They were winning games they shouldn't have. Um, I think thrown in there was that game where Robbie Grossman hit the walk off squeeze. And like it was just a different brand of baseball that we hadn't seen since what, 2016? Sure. And I mean, I, I want that back. If, if both catch, catchers are productive in a lineup, I mean, that that's just exciting.